विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस आर स्टेटमेंट्स गिव रीजन फॉर योर आंसर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू टेल वेदर द गिवन सेंटेंसेस आर स्टेटमेंट्स और नॉट वेल बिफोर सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन लेट अस रिकॉल द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ स्टेटमेंट वी नो दैट अ सेंटेंस इज अ मैथमेटिकली एक्सेप्टेड स्टेटमेंट इफ इट इज आई ट्रू और फॉल्स दैट इज For a sentence to be a statement, it must be either true or false. So let us proceed with the solution. In the first section, we are given there are thirty-five days in a month. Now we know that the maximum number of days a month can have is thirty-one. Therefore, the given sentence is false. So we can go ahead and say that the given sentence is a statement. So let us write the answer. Hence. This sentence is always false as the maximum number of days in a month is thirty-one. Therefore, it is a statement. Let us see the next section. In the second section, we are given mathematics is difficult. This sentence is subjective in the sense that for some people mathematics can be easy, and for some others it can be difficult. Hence, it is not a statement. So, let us write the answer. This is not a statement because for some people it is easy and for some other it is difficult so there is a confusion in this statement here therefore it cannot be called as a statement this completes our solution let us see the next section the sum of 5 and 7 is greater than 10 we know that 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 the sum of 5 and 7 is 12 which is greater than 10 so the given sentence is always true hence we can say that it is a statement so let us write the reason for this we know that sum of 5 and 7 is 12 which is greater than 10 that is given sentence is always true therefore it is a statement let us move on to the next section the square of a number is an even number This sentence is neither true nor false because square of an even number is even and square of an odd number is odd. Therefore, it is not a statement. Let us write the reason for this. So we can write this sentence is neither true nor false because square of an even number is even and square of an odd number is not even because we know that square of an odd number is odd. Therefore, it is not a statement. So this completes our solution. Let us see the next section. The sides of a quadrilateral have equal length. We know that if the quadrilateral is a square or a rhombus, then the given sentence is true. And if the quadrilateral mentioned in the sentence is other than square or a rhombus, then it is false. Therefore, this is an open sentence. So we can say that the given sentence is not a statement. Let us write the reason for this. This sentence is an open sentence. It is true if the quadrilateral is a square or rhombus. It is false if it is any other type. Therefore, it is not a statement. So this completes our solution. Let us see the next section. Answer this question. Actually, this is an imperative sentence, or we can also say that this is an order. Therefore, it is not a statement. Hence, the reason for this is. it is an order therefore it is not a statement let us see the next section the product of minus 1 and 8 is 8 we know that minus 1 into 8 is minus 8 but in this sentence we are given that the product of minus 1 and 8 is 8 therefore the given sentence is a false sentence so we can say that this is a statement why because logically this sentence is false so let us write the reason for this This is a statement as logically this sentence is false since minus one into eight is minus eight. Let us move on to the next section. The sum of all interior angles of a triangle is one eighty degree. This is a statement as it is always true. We know that the sum of all interior angles of a triangle is always one eighty degree. Therefore, the answer is this is a statement as it is always true. Let us see the next section. Today is a windy day. The given sentence is not a statement because the truth value of the sentence depend upon the day on which the sentence was said. So the reason for this is 
the given sentence is not a statement as its truthfulness or falsehood depends upon the day on which it was said let us see the last section of the question all real numbers are complex numbers this is a true sentence because we know that every real number is a complex number whose imaginary part is zero so we can go ahead and say that this is a statement let us write the reason for this this is a true sentence we know that every real number is a complex number whose imaginary part is zero therefore it is a statement so this completes our solution